Today I want to talk about this painting that I did a few years back and use it to help you question a little bit what hyperrealism means in terms of art and why it's not uh, about quality and mostly about patience. Uh, I, I started the painting from a photo uh, on the internet. You're going to see the reference, the full reference in a bit. It was basically a, a response video to uh, a painting of Morgan Freeman that blew up 800 hour. So this is eight hours of painting condensed into seven minutes uh, of a time lapse. So I started without a plan. There are lots of ways you can have a plan to uh, attack hyperrealism. Uh, so you can use like a square grid, you can use uh, photo underlay, you can use a lot of ways to transfer the drawing, even uh, projection and, and all of that. I'm painting digitally, so I'm mostly focusing on uh, finding the relationships, but I'll use a lot of guidelines. I'm putting both images to, uh, on the same size and using a tool on Photoshop that helps me uh, correlate them uh, between each other. The zoom, it matches the zoom. Uh, so different two different windows will have the same zoom and the same proportions. It's almost like a site size painting that uh, academics use to uh, do back in the day but now more uh, in terms of the digital tools that we have and focusing on hyper realism and not only uh, the overall proportions. It's super important that we really get the proportions in there. It can be a little flawed in uh, my painting is a little flawed in terms of overall proportions. But as you can see, we can start from a very wrong anatomy, very wrong drawing, and start moving pieces. Uh, if it, it was the traditional, having a more finalized underdrawing uh, will be more effective because it's harder to change when you get to oil painting uh, or, or something like that. So basically now that we have an overall structure and we can match the zoom uh, from the, the, the photo, I also used like flipping uh, the canvas uh, so I can have a fresh look and using a little bit of liquify here and there so I can move pieces around. So that's very common in digital painting, something that you can definitely do. Uh, if I was to take more time on this and not use a lot of these tools, it will as I said, only take longer. Uh, I don't see a big difference in the process. Uh, and now it's almost like pixel uh, matching uh, and, and negative spaces and proportions, verticals, angles, and, and so on and so forth. So it's uh, hard work. Uh, it's a lot of hours uh, put in. But if you look at a lot of the drawings, realistic drawings that we have out there of people uh, really focusing on details, uh, I've seen a lot of people that are wet, so they have water droplets and, and, and all of that, or water pouring down their hair and, and all of that. It's mostly for uh, the shock value. It's mostly to be impressive. Uh, one thing that I've heard a quote from uh, Scott Adams says that creati creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes. So this is not allowing anyone to make mistakes. Uh, and the quote follows, art is knowing which ones to keep. Uh, so, so that's a big one here. You're not focusing on making mistakes. You're focusing on matching every pixel, every value, every color, every angle. Uh, it, it's almost like printing to, to some extent. So, so this is not, in my opinion, uh, what art should look like. I know this is a big discussion and there are a lot of people doing uh, amazing work, especially when they get this to a big size. So the shock value is bigger uh, and it can get interesting uh, to some points. Uh, I'm gonna acknowledge that I've seen uh, great work done mixing other styles as well or mixing sculpture uh, and so on. So there are interesting things in there but they are made of decisions and not just uh, pulling pixels or 
finding the right grid to to get your references uh, uh your proportions through and your values there there is definitely skew here uh to really be able to under uh, to see first values colors uh and so on angles and to transfer those effectively especially if you're dealing with medium different medium uh, oil painting uh graphite uh, and all of that i'm not gonna take that away from from the draftsmen that really do this work but i want to question you all to really go deeper uh, into what art making uh, and mistake making looks like uh, in in a world of especially of ai art we tend to and and layman uh tend to go for the most detail a lot of detail in design so the most de detailed over detailed designs tend to stick with a lot of people you see the the big hit that transformer movies are or other sci-fi with a lot of detail and when you go back to what movies looked like uh great movies so for example alien uh, the first one by Ridley Scott. It's about decision making. They didn't have tools. They didn't have uh, all the VFX that we have nowadays. But they had a great eye for quality, for choosing, and for leaving some some mistakes in there uh, that make sense. Happy mistakes. Uh, and and here, as you see, I'm painting every pixel, uh, every color. And then getting closer and closer to the overall proportions there there are differences as i said uh, if you overlay the reference with the final painting uh, there are some differences but if you don't have the reference uh, the painting is really well uh, on its own it conveys what ne it needs the realism that it needs to convey it potentially uh, had that impact in the beginning of the video when you saw just uh, the painting uh, so th this is about patience this is about taking your time as i said before this is an eight hour painting uh condensed into seven minutes of time lapse it could be an 800 hour the only difference is that i would go uh smaller and smaller and getting more of those details and colors in there uh, so this is basically my final uh, result so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it created some kind of questioning uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to know more about great painting i would highly recommend looking at richard schmidt's book a la prima he's one of the best artists that lived in our generation so definitely worth taking a look so i hope to see you again in other videos uh, and have a great day